is Miss Ann Swayze. Do I have that right? Yes. Okay. Please come forward and, and state your name and your address for the record, please. Ann Swayze. I live at 4316 Oak Ridge Bend in Valdosta, Georgia. And I want to speak to the fact that burning is now permitted in the Foxborough area where I live by residents outside in Lowndes County. Residents are allowed to burn paper trash, leaves, and yard clippings two days a month outside in their yard. The first and third Saturdays are considered burn days when permission has been obtained by a resident from forestry. I have three concerns about this. The first one is fire danger. The community is covered with many trees and bushes, and neighbors live in continuous dwellings which are separated by old wooden fences. Most of the lots are one-third of an acre. The second concern is smoke soot. Smoke fills the air throughout the area, lingering, seeping into yards, houses, porches for the duration of the day and evening, and often into the next day. Residents cannot leave open windows, enjoy being outside, entertain, or hang laundry. Soot residue blackens all porch furniture, cars, sidewalks, inside furniture, and all surfaces, even when all doors and windows are shut. The last concern is a health concern. Clean air like clean water is a precious resource. The air is not clean and fit to breathe again until a wind blows through or it rains. This is a neighborhood community with the opportunity to ride bikes, walk, and be outside enjoying one's yard. Residents hesitate to plan to be outside or have guests with the possibility of smoke filling the area for two weekends a month. And it can be a deadly occasion for anybody that has asthma. Residents can call code enforcement when burning and smoke become a nuisance in order to check on whether a resident has received permission to burn. In order to do that, the person calling has to know the address of the resident that's burning. If permission is not given, then someone is sent to that house to address the issue. Taking up the time of the fire department officials to monitor burning in our community is another issue to address with them, and whether they have found, as I suspect, burning to be a fire hazard. The officials have always been cordial and attentive when I have called, but prior to calling, I have to get into my car and locate the address of where the burning is occurring. In the three years that we have lived in our house, I have found unattended piles of leaves and branches burning under neighbor's trees. Another close neighbor actually set another neighbor's shed on fire, and another neighbor took a hose and put it out. I have seen large trash barrels sitting on driveways with burning occurring in it all day long. I have seen people set piles of yard materials on fire across their backyard and it burns all day. People even light up their fireplaces and burn trash in it during the summer months. Further, many days residents burn and it is not an authorized burn day. Often this is done at night when it is difficult for other residents to know where the burning is located. I'm always afraid to leave my windows open because I don't know if somebody's going to burn when I'm gone. Directly behind our back fence is a five-foot high pile of dead branches located in the neighbor's yard under trees. This pile sits equidistant to old wooden fences that separate four houses. One of these homeowners burns in a barrel for hours, sometimes days, near one of these old fences. That pile of dead branches is kindling for sparks that might land on them. My understanding is that the county has negotiated contract to provide sanitation trash removal at the rate of $39 a quarter. We have a service at a slightly higher rate. They remove both house and yard refuse materials. Foxborough is a neighborhood, not a rural community. We are just past the Valdosta city limits off North Valdosta Road. Clean, breathable air should be an expectation in our community. I place this issue before the commissioners for your consideration in addressing the Foxborough area as a no-burn community. Thank you.
Thank, Thank you, you. Ms. Swayze. We'll take it in consideration. Thank you.